first started by bringing us together, uh, the youth, uh, people with disability, women, and, the, and men. The reason we are told is no one should be left behind in production. And it was to make us, even the youth, understand uh, the advantages of, of being a farmer. Since most of the youth, like me, don't believe in agriculture or farming as a business. Even me, I was at the same caliber with them. I didn't believe that farming would do earn someone money. I was also doing farming for home consumption. But then after undergoing the trainings, I realized there was a gap. I said there's something had left behind. That was 2017, 2018. This service is for the second season. I had three acres of maize. I managed to get uh, 40 bags of the 40 bags. Some have been sold. Though the prices were not all that good, at least it has moved me a step. I had first that plan of constructing a house at the village where I, I stay, but uh, when I shared with the, my spouse, she was like, it's better we have a, a building at the center, uh, our nearby trading center. So I had first to go and buy a plot of land in the trading center for there. Now the next step is how to develop it. Even besides, I plan, like, say, I want to go back to school. I even wanted it next year, but then I saw it might affect my production. I want first to stabilize with the production, bring my wife uh, properly on board of production, so that the time I'll be at school, she can still uh, lead the production. <laughs> 